And welcome back again. I'll show you the almanac real quick. You can see we had a 20 degree swing in our temperatures today. 59 degrees was our high, right around normal for both our highs and our lows. And to show you that we can be this time of year much cooler, now look at last year. That was our record low of 12 degrees. Thankfully, we don't have that in tap for us. We're not looking to be that cold, at least on the seven day. So uh, we'll take that again. You can see we picked up nearly just under a tenth of an inch of rain, and we're still an inch 1.35 below where we should be. We're going to add to that. I don't think we're going to get above average, though. Rain showers today stay mainly on off to our east. We still have a few scattered showers across our area, but they're very, very light. This is drizzle. That's all this was today. It was more of an annoyance. It was the first kind of pre-wave if you want to call it that, before we get the main system in here on your Saturday. And that's looking to be a little rainy. So tonight, a brief shower or two could pop up. That's really about it. 52 degrees. Those winds out of the southwest right around 5 miles per hour. And then for tomorrow, yeah, we'll stay mild across the state. Uh, showers today will stay on off to our south and to our east and back to the west. Unfortunately, yep, those are showers and thunderstorms and that nasty cold front heading our way. It's going to drop us below average. But for tomorrow, we're going to be above average. Look at this. We'll be in the mid to upper 60s across the area. Those winds out of the southwest, 5 miles per hour, mostly cloudy skies. And then how's it look throughout tomorrow? Well, again, we'll have some scattered showers on tonight. That's really about it. And I'm going to say that because anytime you see green on a map, some people freak out and go, oh, no, we're going to have thunderstorm stuff. We're not looking at that for tonight or even tomorrow. Saturday's a different story. And as we go on throughout tomorrow, we'll start to increase in coverage. The showers will on off to the west, and eventually those will get here. There's a little dip in the jet stream. Thunderstorms across our area, the southeast, really. A mix across the central and eastern U.S., and then some snow on up to the north, and we're not having to look at any of that. We've actually gone back down a little bit on our precip totals. It looks like we're not going to get a lot of moisture return, or it's not going to return as quickly. We'll still pick up maybe a quarter to a half inch of rain across the area, lesser amounts near the Gulf and more as you're going up to the north near Jackson and Meridian, but that's really about it. Not too bad. Now, we do have the slight chance for some of these to be potentially severe. We're not talking tornadoes or anything, maybe some damaging winds and some downpours. That's about it. We're not even talking large hail either. All right, so your weather is brought to you by Richard Schwartz and Associates. Next three days, we'll get a little bit of a warm up for tomorrow. 67 degrees, 65 for your Saturday, but look at the overnight lows. We're going to be dipping near freezing because that cold front moves on through. Once that's on through here, though, the showers will be moving on with it. Your Sunday, partly sunny and breezy conditions, so 48, and then I don't like showing this, but yeah, 27 for an overnight low. And with those winds, those wind chills are going to be even colder, and we're talking in the lower 20s, so it is going to be cold. 55 for Monday, plenty of sunshine, then clouds will be on the increase going on into your Tuesday. We'll be back in the 60s, though. We're not losing the 40s, and unfortunately, that cold front moves through, giving us another chance of some rain. Cooler for your Wednesday, you can see we're only talking 46 to 49 Wednesday morning to Wednesday afternoon. And then overnight Wednesday night, we'll be dipping quite a bit below freezing again, and we're maybe looking at that again as well for Thursday night. So, and we're talking later this month, we're going to get below average. Uh, so, you know, kind of get ready for it. It's kind of a roller coaster on the seven day. We're going up and down, up and down, but that's just kind of the nature of the beast. Yeah. 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 Thanks a lot, sir.